than $8 billion of the budget will be spent on education, despite that many former teachers and education advocates say it's not enough. WNCT's Josh Birch spoke with some who are unhappy with that new proposed budget. Josh, what exactly are they saying? Well, Angela, they're saying that they don't feel as if lawmakers are being upfront and honest with the people in North Carolina. They say the recent funding doesn't help teachers make ends meet, nor will it help education improve. I just felt so disrespected. For former North Carolina teachers, the new budget is the same old story. Not enough funding and sky-high expectations of teachers, leading to a stressful work environment. The hoops that we had to jump through, the um, expectations from the state for test scores. Karen Claych taught in Pitt County Schools for 30 years before retiring in 2014. She says low pay for teachers makes getting by each month difficult. They have to take tutoring jobs or jobs at local department stores. I've mentored many, many young teachers in particular. In the new budget, more than $138 million goes towards teacher assistance each of the next two years. In addition, more than $50 million will go towards textbooks and digital resources in public schools across the state. According to a group called How Far We Have Fallen, textbook funding and per student investment have both dropped dramatically since 2008. The group says more than 7,000 TA positions were cut, and when you factor in inflation, teachers are actually receiving $5,000 less each year. This isn't hocus pocus. This is real numbers, real economics, the reality for our educators. Evan Degnan with Progress NC says people in the state should be furious with lawmakers. These politicians held 8,500 educators hostage for two months. Many of them didn't know whether they were going to be fired this week, fired last week. Critics of the education portion of the two year budget say rather than reinvesting in education, lawmakers continue tax cuts for the wealthy. Adam Linker with the NC Justice Center says that's wrong. I think North Carolina would like to have above average schools, so we're going to need above average pay, but we're not even at average anymore. Now, school systems I spoke with say they wanted to read the budget fully before commenting. Pitt County schools haven't confirmed whether the TAs laid off over the summer would be reinstated. Of course, we'll keep a close eye on this and update you with any new information. Josh Birch, 9 on your side.